go with uh, Children of the Sun. Uh, Quest Helper, Children of the Sun. Rock Square. So, they're from the West? Yes, they call it Varlamor, the Shining Kingdom. It's meant to be one of the most beautiful places in the world. What are you talking about? Oh, hello. Are you here to see the delegation? Delegation? See? It's not just me who doesn't know what's happening. The delegation from Varlamor, of course. After all these years, they're finally opening up the kingdom for travel and trade. Isn't it exciting? Why would I need uh, to be excited? Or, like, why would I be excited about a place I've never even knew existed? A whole land locked off for hundreds of years. Do you not want to be one of the first outsiders to step foot there? Think of the adventure. Adventure? Sounds dangerous. I'll be staying right here, thank you very much. Ah, or what about you, stranger? Uh, yeah, I'll start the quest. Well, I'm actually something of an adventurer myself. <laughs> God damn it, am I going to take an arrow to the knee in this quest? <laughs> That's the spirit. I bet you'll want to be one of the first to head over to Valamore. Uh, how can you tell? Is it the gear? It's probably the gear. When will this delegation arrive? Well, it should be any time now. Uh, hang on, what's going on over there? Wait, that's them. They're here. Dude, we got a posse of people showing up to talk to the king. There they are, the children of the sun. That's Itzela, Archon, heir to the throne of Valamor. And there's Cerverus. The... The what? Teokon of Relos. Sometimes I feel like most of these words are just made up, you know what I mean? It means high priest. Ah, thanks. You know, creating a whole new language, I guess. <laughs> he's the religious uh he's the religious leader in Valamore. Huh? Whoa, we got a guard sneaking out. What are you doing with that bag? Oh, uh just delivering some supplies to the guards at the gates. Well, hurry back. We need everyone at their posts. Nah, dude, he's totally sneaking away with something that he shouldn't. That's an unusually big bag he's carrying. Hmm. Now, where might you be going with that? Now I have to follow him. I clearly have to follow him. He's going to turn around, isn't he? Totally going to turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Yep, there we go. I knew it. I knew it. Being all sneaky beaky like. Stray dog, now's not the time. I'm following someone. Ooh, can I make it? Can I make it? Ooh, I'm too quick with it. Stray dog, get away! Get away! You're gonna give away my position. You're late. I'm here, aren't I? If you're not happy, maybe you should have been the one to steal the uniforms. Enough. We don't have much time. Do you have everything? Mostly. Mostly? I grabbed what I could. We're just gonna have to make do. The delegation is already in the palace. We need to be ready to strike as they leave. Indeed. <laughs> God damn. I don't know if I, there's too many bandits. What do I do for these voices? <laughs> Indeed, you know the target. Get changed quick and you'll be ready to take your positions. Good luck. You're gonna need it. You luck panic too much. It's gonna be fine. Now let's get going. This doesn't sound good. I better let this sergeant know. I must inform the sergeant. You're under attack. The kingdom is falling. I need a. Uh, I need to be like a town crier. Have one of those bells and just start like freaking out. Where's the town crier at here? Benny, jerk. Wait, is the town crier? Oh yeah, the town crier is over there. Anyways, sergeant, move along, citizen. Wait, I have information that you need to hear. What is it? There are some bandits disguising themselves as guards. I think they're planning to attack the delegation from Varlamore! <gasps> Surely you can't be serious. It's true. One of them infiltrated your guards and stole some uniforms. He came right through here earlier with them. The one with the large bag? I thought I didn't recognize him, but then it's so hard to keep up. We get through guards so quickly around here for some reason. You know, it may be due to the fact that people kill you for your medium clues. Uh, so what do we do? Should we warn the delegation? And risk a panic? No, better deal with them now while they're safe in the palace. Do you know how many bandits there are? 
four in total. What? No, I clearly saw like five. There's one, two, three, four. There, yeah, there was five. There's five bandits. What the fuck am I saying four for? Right, we can work with that. You get out there and point them out with them being disguised. You'll need to keep a close eye on any of them guards who look act or dim any differently from the others. Don't go too far now. If the bandits intend to attack the delegation, they'll either be here in the square or on the eastern row between the square and the bank. Return to me once you've found all four, and we'll take them all at the same time. All right, I'll get to it. Down to the blue arrow. Mocking this god. You are not sneaky. You are not sneaky enough for me. Oh, clearly, you're missing a helmet. Come on. Like, you're not even trying, you bandit. Man, so unprofessional bandits here. Yeah, clearly, leaning back on the job, tapping his toes. He's not even, like, standing around guarding stuff. He's just so you know they're just out of it man they're just out of it also that one that was may have been hard to tell but if you're looking at the swords that one that dude had a mace instead of a sword i pointed out all the bandits good work i'll signal my guards to bring them in it's kind of crazy that the sergeant is just like completely trusting of me when he just called me a citizen as opposed to like recognizing me as an adventurer that has like completed all of these quests and a lot of them for the kingdom of Varrock, you know what I mean? Like King Ronald or whatever his name is, that's a piece of jerk face because he yelled at me for like being mad at his garden and I did all the garden work. And then it turns out it's like, no, the wife's taking all the credit or the queen is taking all the credit and all that stuff. So it's <sighs> anyways, uh, Sergeant uh, Tobin signals to his guards and the bandits are quickly arrested. That could have ended up quite nasty if not for you. Once again, good work. What about the fifth person? There was clearly five. So, like, so what happens now? The bandits will be interrogated. If all goes well, we'll get some useful information out of them. Speaking of which, given it was you who found them in the first place, you might be able to offer some support. Would you be willing to help? Of course. Where do you need me? Come with me. We'll use the cell of the palace roof for the interrogations. It's nice out of the way. Super secret-like, you know. Sergeant Tob uh, Tobin escorts you to the palace roof. Ah, Nilsson, Sergeant. Princess Ilza. Is that it? Itzla? Ilza? It uh, Prince. I'm sorry, but I wasn't uh, expecting you here. Well, all the politics downstairs was getting a bit dry, but then I heard there'd be a bit of a commotion. I thought I'd come here to see what the fuss was all about. You don't mind, do you? Well, no, it's just, uh, wonderful. And you, who are you? Hello there. I'm Sci-Fi. Sci-Fi. Kwani, pleased to meet you. Crown Prince of Itzal, Itz Itzla Arkan, heir to the Sun Throne. At your service. Tell me, Sci-Fi, are you the one who caught these would-be assassins? That's right. Well then, why don't you and I ask this one of few little questions? You don't mind, do you, Sergeant? Not at all, but... Excellent! Let's get started then. Wait, why are we going in the cage with him? We can just talk to the bars. Like, if you just move this table, like this table right here, just like move it out of the way to the side. Anyways, this all to you, Iknami. I hear you managed to get yourself in a spot of brothers. I'm not telling you anything. Ah, Tetamo, such a shame. No matter though, we'll have you talking in no time. <laughs> now you'll need to forgive me. But I'm a bit new around here, so your customs are not familiar to me. Tell me, Iknami, what's the preferred method of interrogation in these pots? I don't know, I'll pretty much just kill them. Oh, but the bandit is talking about that. You're asking me how you should interrogate me? Well, in that case, I mean, we, we could have some dinner, nice, uh, nice steak. We could uh, have a glass of wine, you know, a nice wine and dine night. I feel like that'd be pretty, <laughs> you know, like, like the bandit, like if he actually went with it, 
<laughs> and just started like listing off things that he would want. It's like, this is how I want to be interrogated. Just like have a nice night, a nice dinner. It's like, oh, this is fantastic. And just like delay more and more. Like just give all like <sighs> anyways. Well, it just seemed polite to ask. We'll have all sorts of fun methods back home in Valamore. We could give one or two of them a go if you want. <laughs> if I want? Absolutely. Now, what are your thoughts on chicken? Chicken? Oh, sci-fi. Do you not have chickens here? Sorry again. All this is quite new to me. Yes, we have chickens. The farms around here have loads. Well then, why the confusion? Have you never seen one before? Oh, you poor sheltered thing. Did your parents never show you the wonders of the countryside? I know what a chicken is. Well, why didn't you say so? I don't know. What game you playing? But it won't work on me. No game at all, Iknami. The reason I ask is because one of our preferred methods in Valamore involves just a small amount of fire. <laughs> fire! Sorry, sorry. Let my, let my inner demon out. And you'd never believe it, but the smell of human flesh once it gets going. You're gonna cook me? Cook? No, not at all. That would imply I'm going to eat you. I'm not a barbarian. Though it would be interesting to, to know if it tastes like chicken as well. <laughs> All right, enough. I'll tell you what he want. I don't want to be burned alive like a chicken. Wani, so what are you, who are you working for? I don't know their name. They just paid us to attack the delegation. <laughs> they didn't look to be from around here. I reckon it was one of your lot. Why do they want you to attack the delegation? They didn't say, but that priest, he was the target. So, a Val, Val, Valamorian? Valamorian paid you to assist the, dude, these fucking names, man. <laughs> so hard, so difficult to read. Tio Khan, you're not giving me much to go on. That's all I know. Please, I don't want to be a chicken. Hmm. Well, I think we're done here. Come, Safa. I didn't even ask any questions. Like, you didn't even give me a chance. Like, there was no option. It was just like, hey, we're going to turn you into a chicken to threaten to eat you. <laughs> but, like, say we're not going to be barbarians. It's like, I know some really nice barbarians, actually. I've been to the barbarian village. I've, like, I've learned some, uh, some weightlifting techniques from a barbarian there. I think we got what we needed there. Are you sure he told you everything? <clears throat> Sorry, I still get the bandit's voice in my mouth. Ah, yes, the fear of being cooked will do that to a person. Ah, t all total rubbish, of course. Imagine burning somebody alive! We're much more civilized over in Valamore. <laughs> we burn them to death. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, sorry, sorry. We just cut out the heart while it's still beating instead. Fucking brutal, man. I can't tell if you're joking or not. Considering that they have a Coliseum... Like, metagaming wise, like, I know that they have a Coliseum, but like, my character doesn't know that they have a Coliseum. Um, yeah, they, they would totally cut out uh, characters or people's hearts or whatever. Anyway, it sounded like there'll be some work to do when we get back home. An assassination attempt on the Teocon of Relos. Concerning stuff. First up, though, I'd better get back to the politics. Toodaloo. <laughs> Sci fi, once you've got these papers, or once we've got these papers signed, you lot will be free to travel to Valamore for the first time. No more needing explicit permission. You can come and go as you please. Now, oh, it's entirely up to you, of course, but given we have you to thank for stopping this plot, I'd be very keen if you'd join me in Valamore to continue the investigation. Because we're going to burn them alive! <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. No need to decide now. It will take a bit longer for us to be ready for visitors anyways. But when the time comes, I'll have my people send word to you. Now, they'll be missing me downstairs. Timovia, and may the sunlight your way. It's all, it's law departs. Well, that was interesting. Not every day the air, oh wait, that's my voice. Not every day their heir to a far off land comes and interrogates one of your prisoners. Oddly enough, no, this will be an interesting report to write, and on that note, I'd best get to it. All the best, adventurer. Thank you for your help. Woo! Quest completed. Big 301 quest points done. All right, Children of the Sun completed. Now it's time for Defenders of Varrock.